Hey, hi everyone. So in this quick tutorial, I will go through Elasticsearch custom analyzers. So let's get started. So custom analyzers consist of couple of components. It's like a pipeline. So we have input data and input data goes through the first component, which is character filters. They can be zero or many. So you can have zero or any number of character filters. Character filters receive the original text and basically this uh, as a stream of characters they receive and then uh, on that stream of characters they can do some transformation like adding, removing or changing characters. Couple of examples are for example uh, HTML strip uh, character filter, mapping character filter and pattern replace character filter. So just to give you an example, HTML strip will remove all the HTML elements. So if you are submitting information from a, a form or directly or you are loading information from some uh, database system, you can uh, you can remove all the HTML strip characters. So once it goes through the character filters, which has done the uh, initial transformation, you can have only one. It's a mandatory tokenizer. So tokenizer is like uh, it will tokenize uh, the the text of data. So you have a, like let's say big sentence or a paragraph. So it must be broken down into single tokens or words. So that is tokenizer. So tokenizer, uh, as I mentioned, receives a stream of characters and breaks it down into individual tokens or words. And then finally, it, it gives out the tokens. So you have a paragraph and finally you, the output will be source array of tokens. So a couple of examples are standard tokenizer, letter tokenizer, lowercase, white space, and a couple of some more like classic tokenizer. And then we have uh, token filters and uh, token filters also can be zero or many so it's an optional component and token filters accept a stream of uh, tokens from uh, from the tokenizer and it can modify the tokens so you can actually do some uh, transformation again like lowercase delete tokens remove stop words etc and some examples are apostrophe ascii folding classic and lowercase so these are some of the uh, token filters and finally, when uh, we have gone through the three different kind of uh, uh, transformation, we store the uh, data into the uh, Elasticsearch index. And when we perform any Elasticsearch queries, um, the, the query also go through the, uh, during search time also, it will be going through the same analyzer as what we have specified during the storing of data. So I'll quick uh, I'll quickly take a couple of example and show you uh, what I mean. So here in this case, uh, I am posting, so there is an analyze API and I am posting a text of uh, data and because I haven't specified any analyzer, by default there is a standard analyzer in Elastic that, that it, will, uh, it will be used to analyze this information. Uh, next I will be doing uh, same query but with a different analyzer, so white space. Uh, it will just break down based on the white space, it wouldn't do any transformation. So every time there is a space character, it will just break down. And next one is simple, it will do some extra like uh, any other character other than white space, it will again break it down. And uh, next one is stop words, so stop words will actually remove all the English like the, o, off, uh, on, like those things, it will, uh, it will remove that. So I'll take this particular example, copy it, go to my Kibana console and paste it. And I'll run this query one by one. So here uh, for the first analyzer, standard analyzer, you can see the tokens uh, that it has broken down. It has lowercase d, quick, brown, all those things. And there are some certain emoji characters which, which, uh, which it has converted to ASCII equivalent and stored as it is. Uh, okay. Next I will just use the white space. So white space has not lowercase, you see d, quick, brown, all those things are still as it is. So it, has, it hasn't done any transformation it just does a like a white space on the space and next is like simple so simple is slightly different like it has uh, it has taken like for the uh, html as a b d and here like uh, so it, it has removed this all this exclamation and all uh, last i will just do the uh, stop uh, so stop has removed for example the because there's, that's a stop word so immediately uh, you will see um, the quick immediately you'll see the quick is come uh, the has been removed from the uh, from the test text so I'll uh, remove this particular data and I'll move on so this was uh, so I'll in this uh, example I will create a, a custom analyzer and I'll show you how to specify and do in my index 
So here uh, I am creating an index. So this is my index name and how we specify we start with settings block analysis analyzer and uh, name of the, the analyzer. So you can call whatever you feel like and then then you have to say type equal to custom and first thing as I mentioned there was this, this character filter zero or many. So I am in this case using HTML strip which is the inbuilt character filter and emoji to word this I will showcase this is a custom character filter. Next I am saying standard as being uh, tokenizer as being standard uh, so I am just using the inbuilt tokenizer. So it must be specified uh, there should be mandatory one. Next is filter so that also can be uh, it is an optional zero to many. So I am using lower case and trim uh, these two inbuilt filter. So uh, this is the part where I am using a uh, custom character filter. So here uh, this name right emoji to word is matching with my custom character filter and it is there is a type and it is a type mapping type and then I can specify mapping. So uh, for the emojis right for the happy icon I am just saying it is actually greening uh, face but I am say for happy icon just say hap, uh, store is at happy and for a dog uh, just store as a dog that e emoji. So so and finally uh, this is this is the part like where where is the analyzer part this is under settings and then we have the schema which is like a table schema and this under mapping. So I have two attributes or two fields uh, comment and username. So for the comment uh, because it is a free form field I, I have to use my custom analyzer. So in this case I am using my custom analyzer. So when the data is stored or searched it will be using this custom analyzer for storing and searching the data. So I will take this particular snippet of code and run this. So I will just delete just in case I have the index from my previous ones. So I have delete, deleted the index and now we create this particular index. So index has been created and now we will just run some test uh, to see how it looks like. Uh, so this is just for testing. So I am posting to analyzer test. I am using the analyze API because it is under that index. I am first I am sending the text uh, same text but I am using my custom analyzer and we will see the results. So uh, you will see uh, like uh, all that uh, the, uh, the words in the sentence has been broken down. So the first token and the position and all quick brown all those things everything has been broken down and the uh, emoji icons right uh, the emoji icons have like for example there is a there is a dog I, uh, and there are two tokens because I have uh, mapped that in that way and also the happy thing uh, because there is a mapping available. So it has broken down and stored that. So do, this is during this uh, so storage but if this if I do the same with standard analyzer you will see the, the different results. Uh, you will quickly see that uh, those mappings were not applied right and now how to store the data. So this is like uh, as usual uh, you just say uh, like put a document and you just provide the JSON document username is uh, is not uh, is using standard analyzer but for comment I as I mapped it to my custom analyzer I am uh, passing the same uh, string and this the one, one document has been created. Now to uh, just uh, just to we can just perform the regular search. So I am just saying query match comment and I am searching for this uh, uh, dog emoji and you can see the result has successfully uh, has successfully uh, came back. Okay. So that is all for the custom analyzer. Thanks for watching. Bye.